Hey, Tony here. Today I'm going to go over five Blu-ray releases that I think would make a great 4K set, so stick around. So Tim over at Tim Talks Talkies has challenged the community to create a box set of five Blu-rays that have not had a 4K release yet. Um, this right here would be a box set containing five movies that would fit a genre, an actor, a director, or some kind of subject matter. So I've decided to do a tearjerker type um, box set. Films that would make you cry, or that are sad, or that are very emotional. Um, you know, you don't really have a box set like that, so I think this right here would be a really good one. I do enjoy going to see a film that actually has some kind of emotional um, message to it. And so these right here are some of the ones that I think are really good that I would recommend people seeing and that I would love to see get a 4K release. So first up, we have this film called Beautiful Boy. Um, this right here stars Steve Carell and Timothy Chalamet. I went and saw this one in the theater. Didn't know anything about it. Really didn't even know it was about addiction. Um, I went and saw it just because Steve Carell. I really enjoy Steve Carell. So it was nice to see him in a dramatic role. Um, but this story is about addiction, about Steve Carell's son and his addiction to meth and how that um, interacts with the family. He does come from a broken home, so the father has remarried. Um, and it's been very difficult, I guess, on um, Timothy Chalamet's character. And just a really good heartfelt story. I think there were some really great performances and just a very sad story. So um, it does take a lot to get me to cry when I'm watching a movie, especially in the theater. Um, so this right here was really hard to um, keep from doing that. I didn't hold it together. I didn't make a scene, but it was a really good film. Okay, next up we have The Father. This right here stars Anthony Hopkins and Olivia Coleman. Um, this is another great film. This film deals with um, dementia and Alzheimer's, and it is done in the perspective of the father. So as you're watching the film, um, there might be time lapses or things that are happening in perspective of what the father is going through. Now I did have um, a lot of Alzheimer's and dementia in my family and you know I've lost, my, I've lost two of my grandmothers with the same illness and it is a very tough disease especially dealing with them in the later stages of Alzheimer's. Um, so this right here really hit home for me. Very good film. I highly recommend you check it out. Okay, next up we have Beaches. Beaches stars Bette Midler and Barbara Hershey. This right here is from 1988. I remember seeing this one in the theater. I really enjoyed it. It's a great uh, coming of age story for these two girls as they grow up into teenage um, years and then up through adulthood and their relationship and how it's intertwined. Um, it's got a lot of great music in it, a great soundtrack, and a really sad type ending. So I would highly recommend you check out Beaches. Okay, next up we have this film called Lion. This is another one that I saw in the theater. I went in blindly not knowing anything about it. Um, really good story. This right here stars Dev Patel. It's got um, Nicole Kidman in it. And it goes through this um, boy's from from childhood through adulthood and um, just watch the trailer if you want to see what it's about I don't want to kind of give anything away about it but it's about a young boy who gets um, displaced and how his life is changed by what happens in his younger years and you get to watch his journey through life and how he struggles and just a really good conclusion to the film I would highly recommend you check out Lion I would love to see that get a 4k release Okay, and then lastly for number five, I have Manchester by the Sea with Casey Affleck and Michelle Williams. Great film, a great story. It also has um, Lucas Hedges in it. Um, this story was very well done. I saw this one in the theater again, not knowing anything about it. Um, I think Casey Affleck and Michelle Williams have a great performance in this film. Um, it is about a brother who is having to raise his nephew um, and the struggles that they go through and the struggles that him and his wife go through and just a tragedy in the film. Very sad film. Very good story. Very well acted. Great film. I would love to see this one on 4K. So those are my five tearjerker films that I would love to see get a 4K box set. Please leave me a comment below. Let me know if you've seen any of these and what you think about them. And I would also be interested in any other 
tearjerker type films that you would recommend because I really do enjoy them. If you like what you saw here today, please give it a thumbs up and share the video. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, I'd really appreciate it if you would subscribe. If you do subscribe, please remember to hit that notification bell so that you can be notified every time I upload a new video. If you haven't found me on my social media accounts, I'm on Instagram, TikTok, and on Twitter. And if you'd like to find out what I've been watching, you can find me over on Letterboxd. I do have links below. But thanks again for watching, and we will see you next time.